Too many business owners step over dollars to pick up pennies. Today, we're going to be talking about this topic, this tweet right here. When Kirby sent this to me, I know it was a direct shot at me. And he, he makes fun of me from time to time. <laughs> but we're going to be going into it. This is a very true statement. And honestly, it's actually something I'm trying to work with and learn uh, to improve my skills in business and management. Um, but this is true. And at the bottom of that tweet, he gives a little description on, you know, how business owners do this. So Kirby, what do you got on this? Uh, Alex, when I told you this, I never heard, I never knew it was a, you know, a slogan, a thing. Uh, I mean, as you know, I just got on Twitter, you know, a couple months ago or whatever. And, um, and I told you that and I was like, Alex, you're stepping over, you're stepping over dollars to collect pennies. And it's something that you see a lot of business owners do. Um, like for me, I believe I'm, I am, I try to go for 100% passive. I try to go for it. I know nothing will ever be 100% passive, but that's what I try to go for. I don't want to be in the weeds. What I mean in the weeds, I don't want to be dealing with problems that I could have fixed earlier and deal with them later. I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. So of course, everybody knows about the notorious fourplex. The notorious fourplex that burned down, it only had one water meter. And before that, before it burned down, me, the owner was responsible for the water. So just think it's four units, it's four washer and dryers in each unit. And so, you know, people ain't worried about water bills or nothing because they can just, you know, they could just spray water all over the house if they want to because they don't have to pay the bill. Just imagine what those water bills look like. The fire was was me being still fairly new to investing. It was a horror story for me. Good thing I had the right insurance at the time. But I was like, oh, God, and good thing it was paid off because if I had a, you know, if I had a mortgage on that thing and then was going through that, I would have lost my mind. But one thing that I did once I had it rebuilt, and I think the rebuild was, you know, in the fours, 400,000 area, it still only had one meter. I swallowed the pill and said, hey, we're going to meter each one of these units. That was another $6,000 to do that. But I paid $6,000 to save me tens to 20, 20 thousands of dollars, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars in the future in water bills. And I put the onus on the renter and not myself. So that's what I mean by stepping over, stepping over pennies. I mean, stepping over dollars to collect pennies. Um, everybody that you see it, you see it in business a lot. People, you see something messed up and they're like, oh no, I'll just do a quick patch job to get it. But now you got to go back and do another quick patch job when that patch job fails. Instead of just getting it fixed to get it out the way to go on about it. So now going back to the fourplex scenario, if I, if I just say no, I don't want to spend $6,000 to meter this separately. Then I'd have been sitting here getting water bills from the uh, property management. And I'm sitting there like, hey, can you tell them to stop using the water? Hey, can you stop doing this? Hey, we're going to start adding some money to the bill for the water bill. You see what I'm saying? That That's what it do. And actually, it's funny. That's exactly where uh, my mom lives in a place like that. She lives in a 10-unit place, and the owner still pays the water. He never wanted to spend the money to uh, build it out to meter it separately. Now the water bill is getting high in the area she lives in. And then now on the lease, he's adding, hey, we got to raise the rent. We got to, now you got to start paying water. Well, the only thing you had to do, and of course, the money that he's charging these tenants for the water never covers the water bill. It's just taking some pressure off of him from having to pay more money out of the rent towards the water bill. The only thing he had to do was just spend the money yeah, it sucks at the beginning, but it saves them a lifetime of headache in the future. So, but you see them do it all the time. And I know people going to get on here and say, oh, well, we don't have the money. You need to find a way because it's hurting you more in the long term. It's more you got to be in the weeds. It's more you getting calls about the same problem over and over again. It's, uh, it's, it's getting you where people be like, oh, well, I like this, but I don't like this. I like this, but you could have just got that over with 
a long time ago and just kept on going. That just keeps you in the weeds. The more you got to keep doing patchwork, 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 patchwork. And I'm, no, I'm going on a rant. So Alex, I'm going to hand it back to you. <laughs> but but that's, that's one of the major ones for me. Yeah, anytime I am doing that, Kirby makes sure, makes sure to point it out so I can correct it. But, and it's easy to do, I would say, as a beginner investor or uh, someone just starting a business because you're trying to I guess you're I would say you're paying attention to the wrong things and you maybe don't have the experience to really look at the grand scheme of things um but you know for someone that owns 10 units like that you would expect them to know better but I guess people don't change but um no, no. there's definitely definitely ways that I've seen that you can put in more money to save yourself a headache and one one thing too especially like you always say is like just get it all done like in a rental property like just you know rather than having to keep sending um contractors out there to make repairs and remodels like just do everything at once and get it over with which is true um rather than just hanging onto a property that's falling apart but like, yeah, like like real quick, it's like me and AC units. Uh everybody looked at me crazy because I was like, I just I'm buying, I'm just buying new AC units. I knew the AC units was older when I bought them because I started doing the math. At first I I was sending people out to fix them, and then it's you know, eight hundred bucks here, twelve hundred bucks here, three thousand bucks here, two thousand bucks here. And then I'm like, if I keep sending them out there, the cost that keeps sending them out there would have replaced the whole thing anyway. Right. So get get the crap over with. Rip the band-aid off. You know, suck it up, buttercup. It's gonna suck for a minute, but that's but now you have more time. You're not getting the phone calls about, oh, this thing happened again, this thing happened again. And then you can have more time to focus on building out what you need to do. Everybody wanna get into real estate and business to to say that they they are owner, they're a boss, they're in charge. They're receiving uh, income from uh, other people's labor. But long as you keep half-assing it, you're right there in the weeds with them. You're working more. You're doing more work. And you see it a lot. And uh, another video, Alex, we got to do is the difference between owning a business and owning a job. Because I don't think people know what that is either. But go on, But go, sticking to the concept we're on right now, it's, it's, a, um, it's a very interesting thing that you see owners do it and then they wonder why they haven't expanded, why they haven't been able to do other things, other endeavors, because you're still stepping over dollars to collect pennies. But if you just do the math, remember numbers, men lie, women lie, numbers don't do the math. Just like in a fourplex situation, if I kept it the same way, and I mean, I, I know the water in Florida, my water bill is going up in Florida, and I'm out here taking bird baths, you know, but the water bill still going higher. So just imagine now if I didn't, you know, separate those units. Now I'm paying, I'm paying close to five, six hundred dollars a month in the water bill. You know, times that by twelve, that's what eight, eight fifty, eight hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a year. Five, six hundred. That's a uh, six seventy two hundred a year. Yeah. Yeah. So seven, so seventy two hundred a year. Seventy two, seventy two hundred a year. I didn't pay all the water meters. But now if I didn't, 72, 72, 72, 72. So I'm looking at how fast can I get my money back from it? Yeah. Now this this fire happened in 2018. The property is back online in 2019. And I didn't make my money back, you know, four or five fold off of it. Plus including increasing rents and things of that nature. But, you know, people that want to get out of real estate, just get stuff done early. The people that want to be out of business, just stop being a cheap, a cheap ass and get it done because it will save you more money in the long run. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.